Hi there, this is Dr. Galloway in Monterey, California. This is one of my ongoing lecture series on interpretation of MRI scans of the cervical and lumbar spine. They minimize this window here. Today we're going to look at the MRI scan of a young male with an annular tear at the L5-S1 level. We're going to concentrate initially on this image over the right, which is the T2 sagittal image of the lumbar spine. If I click over one image, I've labeled the vertebrae, which are the bones in the lumbar spine. This is L1, L2, L3, L4, and L5. In between each of the bones in the lumbar spine, there is an intervertebral disc. Here I've labeled the L4-5 disc, and then just below it, the L5-S1 disc. I'm going to click over one more image where I've labeled the nucleus propulsus, which is the center of the disc here. The back of the disc and the front of the disc has a strong thick ligament called the annulus fibrosus and then down here at the L5-S1 level there's a bulge to this disc and an annular tear in the posterior aspect of the disc. If we click over here on this image on the right we're going to scroll quickly up to the L4-5 level to look at a normal level. Here's the intervertebral disc here, the spinal canal behind it and we're going to scroll down now to the L5-S1 level where this is the annular tear. I'm going to switch now to a different scene where I've animated the actual annular tear itself. On this axial image, I've labeled the intervertebral disc here in green, and then I'm going to draw an outline around the lamina and label that the lamina, and then the facet joint on the patient's right, and the facet joint on the patient's left. In the center is the dural sac. Inside the dural sac are the nerve roots. On either side are the neuroforamen here outlined in yellow, and then labeled appropriately neuroforamen. And then we're going to remove all of these labels, and we're going to identify the annular tear here in the back of the disc, and label that the annular tear.